Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are looking at the Dark Power Pro 12. This is the 1200 watt titanium power supply from Be Quiet. This thing is a powerhouse and also quite heavy from other power supplies which I have had before. This comes at uh, 6.8 kilograms and the full uh, tower case which I'm putting it in also weighs around 20 kilograms. It is the Corsair IQ7000X which is going to be a heavy build. So keep an eye out for that uh, video because I will be doing a custom loop and it's going to look awesome. Getting back to the Dark Power Pro 12 here. This is rated at 80 plus titanium efficiency up to 94.7%. Fully digital control, PFC, LLC. This titanium power supplier comes with overclocking in mind as well. Which has the overclocking key switches between 6 12 volt rails and one massive 12 volt rail as well. And this also comes with the Japanese uh, rated 105 Celsius capacitors, which I love to see. Time to go ahead and open up the box and show you guys this amazing power supply. So let's see what we have inside here. Definitely the box like is premium. It does have that feel to it for sure. And uh, let's just remove all the plastic wrapping. And I can't stress enough how heavy this thing is. Uh, definitely the 6.8, that was just the power supply itself. Uh, with the cables and everything, I think it's around like the 13, 14, I believe I saw that somewhere. Here we are. So let's see how it looks inside here. Definitely, I can say it's like a premium premium uh, everything the way it was put in here the box itself the foam everything looks nice before even touching the power supply itself here so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the actual power supply then we'll go ahead and look at the, all the cables and everything else so as you can see here uh, we do have the silent wings uh, fan there and it just looks nice everything around this uh, power supply and obviously it's modular as well and we also have the dark power pro here and looking at the, all the ports here as well and also if you want to go ahead and pause the video here are some of the um, little bit more specs here so let's go ahead and put the power supply away for a little bit and let's go ahead and take a look at all the cables so we got another box within this box here and uh, we have the manual here Let's put that away and we have the switch for the overclocking here let's just go ahead and quickly open this and I do see we got some uh, nice cable management here and the combs as well but let's just take a quick look at the switch for the overclocking so this is what you get And uh, we also get the screws here and the power cable and let's look below here. So this is actually what I was uh, even excited about because I was actually going to go ahead and buy some uh, braided cables uh, because they just look nicer. And we also have the combs here as well which are located in this bag. And we also have the modular cable management, of course, uh, which will save you some uh, bucks because from uh, grabbing a custom set that looks similar, unless you're going for a color change or RGB cables, then that's a different choice. But you kind of get all the nice uh, looking cables here already, which uh, is nice. So underneath the cables, we got a little bit more here. Uh, definitely quite heavy. So the case and everything that was... Uh, most of the weight, it's kind of like the cables here are the heavy part. But I love that they didn't cheap out on any like cables. They, all of the cables that we see here are all braided and individual. So we can definitely go ahead and make it look nice when we put everything together. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and put all these on my IQ7000X case, which is going to look awesome. So make sure to keep an eye out for when that video comes out. Just touching back on some of the other specs of the 1200 watt that I have here. Uh, this comes in continuous power of obviously 1200 watt and a peak power of 1300 watt. So definitely you're getting that what you're paying for there. And there's also a 1500 watt option as well. 
I don't even think you kind of need to go that high unless you're putting some uh, serious uh, stuff in your PC. But this, uh, even this 1200 watt is like overkill for some, like unless I'm putting uh, some ma massive components there, uh, like SLI and things like that. But uh, this will be an amazing add-on to my uh, collection. Looking at the side of the power supply here, uh, we have the drive sections, which is located here. And then the OCK, that's the overclocking piece, which we saw earlier. And uh, we got the MB, and then we also have like the PCI Express here and all that. So pretty standard uh, when it comes to other power supplies, uh, but we're just getting a few more extra things in here as well. And on the back here, the, we get a nice, uh, like, uh, quite a nice switch here in the back as well. So everything is open here, so it can definitely breathe nicely. And then we got the Be Quiet. Uh, I believe this is a Wings 3 fan. I'm not 100% sure about that. So overall thoughts on this uh, power supply without even doing any testing. This thing looks awesome. I can kind of wait to put it in and uh, it will kind of finish the build that I have in mind. And uh, looking at the cables here, I don't really need to go and buy extra cables unless uh, I don't think I'm going to be putting like any RGB or anything like that. I think the black uh, cable here will do nicely. And then we also have like the combs and everything that's uh, the cable management stuff. So pretty much we're getting everything in here. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind, uh, definitely when you're looking at one of these titanium ones, uh, obviously the pricing is going to be a little bit higher than the platinum ones. So just keep that in mind. If uh, this is a, like I said earlier, if you're planning just to put like a older uh, GPU to your PC and uh, you want to get a power supply, no need to get this. Um, uh, if you're planning to put some high-end GPU and just make your overall build look nice and uh, powerful, and this thing will last you for years to come. Really hope you enjoyed this uh, quick overview of this uh, power supply. I will be doing another video when I go ahead and put everything together on a new case, all the parts, so that way we can go ahead and uh, do some further testing. But this is uh, was a quick overview, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell as well. I'll see you guys on the next uh, video.